Hey guys, welcome back to Deborah Smith Art. Today we're going to have a little fun with some alcohol inks and then a little resin top coat on top. Um, I have a 18 inch MDF circle that I've cut out, sanded, and primed and painted white. Um, I just put down a little bit of alcohol, 91% alcohol, and then I'm going to use three different alcohol inks. I'm using the Pinata brand. Um, I have Baja Blue, Sunshine Yellow, and Senorina Magenta. So I'm just adding a little bit of each color, just in some spots, and they're going to blend, they're going to create more colors. It's really great. You don't have to have a whole lot of different colors in order to have a big color palette. So now that I've got those on there, they're still wet, so I'm going to put down some circles. Um, these are lids, pill bottles, um, I think right there I just used a chicken, uh, chicken salad container <laughs> lid. Just whatever I've got and then I like to put my inks on top of them to keep because they'll move around on top of that alcohol they'll just slide around um, I recently got some washers I'm gonna start using those instead of my ink bottles but whatever it takes right so I put all of these on here and once I get them all on I'm gonna leave it for an hour or two and let it dry Okay, so now they're dry. It's been two hours, so I'm going to come back in and remove all of these. Um, while I'm checking, I did notice a few weren't completely dry, um, so I left those for last, and then I just took a paper towel and kind of blotted up the remaining ink before it could spread. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my Posca paint pens and make dots around all my circles and I'll usually make about two to three layers and I stopped it. I did not record all of this and here is the finished product with all the dots. So now I coat it with UV archival spray matte, let that dry. It's now dried so now I've mixed up my resin um, and it, I used, what did I use on this? Oh, I used Promarine and... I added just a little bit of my ultra sparkle glitter. I think I've got like the silver, silver hologram. And then I pour it on, give it a good top coat, let it dry, and then we'll see the final piece. So here's how it looked once it dried. It's sparkly, it's shiny, it's pretty, it's colorful. I love it. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And thanks for watching.